Hi everyone, in this video, I would like to show you two ways to get to the virtual classroom inside Brightspace and explain the two features behind the virtual classroom. Before I begin, I'm making the assumption that you know how to log in to Brightspace with your email address and your network password. I'm also making the assumption that you know how to select the course that you're looking for. So for example, in this course, it's called MCV4U1 Section 1. Let's begin. What you're looking at right now is the online classroom. And if you look at the left bottom corner, there's a widget called the announcements widget. And in this specific announcement, notice it says, click here to go to the virtual classroom orientation, Friday, April the 3rd from 10 a.m. to 10, 15 a.m. So if you press this link, it will bring you to the virtual classroom page. Now, one thing you notice right off the bat is you're not inside the virtual classroom yet. And the reason is because relative to the time of this recording, the meeting will not start until you wait for a day, 12 hours and 31 minutes. So again, you cannot enter the meeting room yet. So that is the first method to get to the virtual classroom. Now, this is not the best method because I composed this link for you with the assumption that a lot of students are learning online through Brightspace for the first time. So I would suggest method number two. Now, if you go back to the online classroom, at the very top, there's the navigation bar, also known as the nav bar, course home, content, assignments, quizzes, virtual classroom, grades. So the second method is you press the virtual classroom icon. Now, if you look at this page, there are two categories, active meetings and recorded meetings, which I'll get to in a moment. In order to get into virtual classroom, notice you're looking for the first title, MCV4U Orientation April the 3rd. It starts at 10 a.m. Notice it says 9.45 a.m. That's when you can enter the meeting room. So the way this is set up is I always open the meeting room 15 minutes prior to the starting time. So that way I can set up the uh, virtual classroom. You can be proactive and get in there five minutes before the starting time. In the event that you're disconnected, there's no Wi-Fi, there's any kind of uh, problems, the 15 minute buffer would help you solve most of those issues. Now, here's what you actually do. Under actions, there are three dots. You press the three dots and you press launch. And again, it will bring you back to the same page as the first method. And again, you're not able to enter the meeting room yet. You have to wait for a day, 12 hours, and 30 minutes. So those are the two ways to get to the virtual classroom. Now, what are the two actual features behind the virtual classroom? So the first feature is it's a live session. So for those students who are in the actual virtual classroom or the meeting room from 10 a.m. and onwards, you are in the virtual classroom and you can ask any questions, you can make a comment, there'll be a chat, you know, a message board on the uh, left column where you can uh, communicate in real time. So the first feature of the virtual classroom is a live session. Now, in the event you can't make it for whatever reason, what can you do? Well, the second feature is all the virtual classrooms can be recorded if you choose the option of recording it. And what happens is if you miss this, at the end of the meeting, Usually, roughly about an hour after, the actual recording will be posted underneath. So where it says recorded meetings, whatever you've missed, you will be able to play the recordings at a later time. Now, the only difference is that because you missed a live session, you won't be able to ask actual questions in real time, and you can only watch the recording and the finished product. So those are the two ways to get to the virtual classroom inside Brightspace. And now you understand the two features behind the virtual classroom. I hope this makes sense.